Hi students, in our previous video we had discussed about the acids and bases, their chemical properties. In this video we are at the last of the chapter, not the last, we say the last concept of the chapter. That is called about the title acids, bases and salts in the we are going to discuss about the salts. Do you know the reaction between an acid and a base? What are the products from salt and water? What are the products when an acid is reacted with a base? Salt and water. Now we are taking the same concept. What is a salt? Here the salts are neutral substances. What are the salts? Salts are neutral substances that are formed when an acid is reacted with a base. It may be a strong acid or it may be a strong base or it may be a weak acid or it may be a weak base. Let us give the definition of the salt here. Salt is a neutral substance formed when an acid is reacted with a base. We got some examples like hydrochloric acid when reacted with sodium hydroxide. That is acid when reacted with a base. What are the products we got? We got the salt and water. NaCl plus H2O. This salt is a neutral substance. This salt is a neutral substance. Now when we are writing a salt, everyone will be thinking about the table salt that we have. It is also a salt. There is sodium chloride. Don't think all the salts are the same form of sodium chloride. Many of the acids will react with many of the bases to form different types of salts. Before I give the formulas of various salts for you, I want to recall a fundamental topic of a grade 9 standard that is called about valence ions. As valence ions, you can see, you can remember the valency, the combining capacity of an element is called as the valency. From this valency, we got about the ions. What is an ion? Ion is a charged particle. Ion is a charged particle. It may be an cation or it may be an anion. What is cation? The positively charged ion is called as cation. Negatively charged ion is called as the anion. Now, these ions we are going to segregate into a tabulated data based on their valency. Based on their valency. Yes, we know if they have only one positive or one negative charge. One positive or one negative charge. We call them as the monovalent ions. Let us see here. These ions, they may be cations or they may be anions. They may be cations or they may be anions. If the ion is having only one charge, it is called as the monovalent ion. What is this one called as the monovalent ion? What is a monovalent ion? They have only one charge. In the cations, I am going to give an example. Sodium ion. What is this called? Sodium ion. Potassium ion. What is this one? Potassium ion. So two examples I have given in the cations. Coming for anions. A single charge bearing. I am calling this one as the chloride ion. What do we call this one as the chloride ion? Similarly, we have the bromide ion or the iodide 
ion. So when I put this end with you, ends with you, ion, chloride, bromide, or iodine, the halogens are going to have a negative charge with them. These all are having only one charge. If it is positive, cation. If it is negative, anion. If the charge is two in number, it is called as the divalent ion. Can you write some examples for divalent ions? Can you write magnesium two plus is a divalent ion? Ca two plus is also a divalent ion. Now. The ions they are having more in number. The ions they are having. See, this is a only one type. Magnesium is only one type. Calcium is also only one. But there are some group of atoms. Yes, four, four. Yes, four, four. Its charge is two minus. What's its charge? Two minus. When many atoms are bearing some charge these are also called as polyatomic ions what are they polyatomic molecule or ion polyatomic molecule or ion there are many atoms here sodium is only one kind potassium is one kind magnesium one kind calcium one kind but here atoms are different so it is called as the polyatomic ion under that so4 is having a negative charge of 2 minus so it is under the heading divalent divalent anion divalent anion now we will take one more example in the case of monovalent ion which is having more number of atoms like polyatomic polyatomic monovalent ion polyatomic monovalent ion shall we call this one as no3 minus nitrate ion what is it called as the nitrate ion no3 minus is called as the nitrate ion so this is the fundamental that we had learned in your grade 9 science there are many we can say trivalent ion trivalent ion especially we come across the aluminum 3 plus ion aluminum 3 plus ion or we can come across po4 3 minus phosphate ion phosphate ion here also it is an polyatomic ion there are Totally five atoms bearing a three minus charge overall. So this is something we have recorded from the next time. What is the need of this? This is not the written stand, but we want the basic from next time. We know the crisscross method. What do we know the crisscross method? Because at times there are the situations that you must write the names of the salts. For now the salts, then the name is given. When the name is given, what you must write? Formula of the sum. Yes. Let us apply these topics today. Which topics? These ions forming the crisscrossing compound. Forming the crisscrossing compound. Now my task is you to take the activity project uh, point of view. How to write names of some sums by this fundamental letter. By this fundamental letter. So let's continue here. So let us see the question. Write the formula of the salts. But what is given here? Name is given. What is the name given? Potassium sulfate. Do we know the formula of potassium ion? Potassium ion is K plus. Sulfate ion is SO4 2 minus. This is the this is a polyatomic ion we mentioned. Now you try to convert into the formula. It is a plus one. We generally write one plus to indicate the monovalent cation or anion. What is valency one? What are the valency of this group of atoms two? So exchange their. 
valency. Exchange the valency. This is what we call as the criss-cross method. Now finally what you are able to get? Keto SO4. Keto SO4. Potassium sulfate. Whenever the name is given, you can write the formula if you know the valence of if you know the valence of the ions. Now my question is previously we got sodium chloride. How did we got sodium chloride? By the reaction of hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide. Now my question is, how can we get this potassium sulfate? How can we get this potassium sulfate? Shall we say potassium sulfate can be obtained by reacting with by reacting potassium hydroxide by reacting potassium hydroxide. What is this potassium hydroxide? Is it an acid or base? This will produce OH minus ions when dissolved in water. The one that ever produces OH minus ions when dissolved in water is called as the base. So potassium hydroxide is a base. And another reactant, I am going to say we are going to have sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid itself is acidic in nature. We know the name because it can produce H plus ions. It can produce H plus ions. Please observe these potassium hydroxide when reacted with sulfuric acid because an acid will be reacted with a base. And our salt must have ions from this one. How many potassium are there? Two potassium are there. The potassium salt. So I want to balance the reactant side to potassium hydroxides. So obtain two potassiums are reacting with sulfate to form keto SO4 potassium sulfate. And the two OH minus ions are reacting with two H plus ions to form H2O. The rest to form salt and water. So how is the potassium sulfate obtained? Potassium sulfate is obtained by reacting potassium hydroxide with sulfuric acid. How do you know sir? We can know by guessing that the acid is giving sulfate and the base is having potassium, the metal with it. So we can say it is a neutralized product from an acid and a base. Now another continuity is Try to give me a formula for sodium sulfate. Try to give a formula for sodium sulfate. How do you give a formula for sodium sulfate? Na plus SO4 2 minus. The sodium and sulfate charges. Crisscross the balances. Crisscross the balances. What is the product you are able to get? Na to SO4. Sodium sulfate. Similarly, you continue with forming calcium sulfate. What is this one? Calcium sulfate. What is the charge of calcium ion? Ca2 plus ion. Sulfate is SO4 2 minus ion. So 2 and 2, once you cross, you will get only. CA2SO4 twice upon cancelling you will have CaSO4 you will have CaSO4 calcium sulfate O formula is only CaSO4 and what is the formula of magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate Shall we say magnesium charge is Mg2 plus and sulfate is SO4 2 minus. Bring down the valency. Crisscross. Mg2 SO4 twice. Strike down. You will be getting Mg SO4. So this is the method how to write the names of the salts including their formula. Now your task is to
observe what is the common in all these things. But in here we don't have sulfate, 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 sulfate. The salts that are having a common ion in them, together they are called such a name of salts. I want to call these all salts as the sulfate salts. What are the salts I am going to call them as the sulfate salts? 